Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, we are still in spring, I promise, but it is going to feel summer-like here over the next couple of days, especially tomorrow, which I'll get to here in just a second. First, it's windy outside. You can see the Bismarck camera there is certainly shaking with those gusty winds that pretty much everybody is dealing with right now. 66 right now in the capital city, but those south-southeast winds at 28 miles an hour, they will get your attention as you head outside. They'll definitely, if you have to uh, style your hair, Mother Nature may do it for you today. You can see temperatures elsewhere very comfortable, mostly in the 60s. Elgin has been one of the cool spots throughout the uh, morning hours, stuck in the upper 50s right now. But even back across the west, 70 miles an hour. And you can notice just how fast our wind streams are moving because of just how strong the winds are. And you can see those here on our wind uh, direction. These are sustained uh, out of the uh, southeast at between 20 and 30 miles an hour, sustained at 35 in Bowman. In fact, I turned on the gusts. These are impressive. Near 50 miles an hour is the gust in Hedinger, as well as Dickinson, a gust of 38 miles an hour in Beach. About the same thing further to the north. You can see there are 35 in Sydney. Even in the Magic City, a gust near 40 miles an hour, as well as near Lake Sakakawea in the Garrison area. And that's why we've got that wind advisory for a handful of counties across western areas through about 8 o'clock tonight. The satellite radar picture is nice and clear. Lots of sunshine today. Just a couple of high clouds back across the uh, far southwest and maybe a sprinkle or two near the Plentywood area, but really nothing that's going to uh, slow you down today. But heavier sprinkles are coming. As I roll through Precision Cash, you'll be able to see lots of clear skies, but kind of the elephant in the room is this big system right here. This system is going to be moving a lot more to the north than to the east. It's going to slowly progress toward the east over the next couple of days, and that's going to set the stage for maybe a couple of showers and thunderstorms across far western sections, I think west of Highway 85. In fact, by Wednesday evening, you can see to the south here, the models picking up at some of those showers and storms possibly moving toward the uh, Bowman and uh, Beach area. And the atmosphere in that portion of the state, Tuesday night and Wednesday night, will be ripe for explosive thunderstorm development. But it's looking like some of the conditions, even though the atmosphere will be ripe, we may have what's called a cap in the atmosphere that will limit how high and how powerful those thunderstorms can get. But still, the uh, Storm Prediction Center putting western sections of North Dakota under a slight chance for severe weather on Wednesday. Highs today, pretty much right where we're at right now, mostly in the mid-70s, a gorgeous day out there, further to the... Uh, Northwest, you can see Williston and Wolf Point. They'll be in the 80s. Here's your three-day forecast for the Dickinson area. Blustery, to say the least, over the next couple of days. Look at that high tomorrow, 86 in Dickinson, almost 20 degrees above the average of 67. About the same thing in Williston, 90 on Tuesday, folks. That's not a typo. It's going to be a hot and breezy day in the Williston area. And here's your extended forecast for the Bismarck area. Average high of 69, well above that over the next couple of days with a chance for a stray shower or thunderstorm, I think, for Bismarck Wednesday and into Thursday before sunshine returns. About the same thing for the Minot area, an isolated or stray shower or storm Wednesday night and into Thursday. And then temperatures cool off a little bit as we get toward the weekend. But the main thing is, Josh, sunshine. We'll be back in the forecast by this weekend. Yeah, sunshine. And the main thing I want to know is, is this going to stick around for us, Robert? The warm weather, it should. I don't see any major cool cold spells anytime soon. So enjoy these nice All right, well, I promise I won't blame you if it snows okay. again. All right, <laughs> thanks, Robert. The U.S.